Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. Peace. Boxingboys.com here with Frank Warren. Frank, Billy Joe's showing us excellent performance uh, this past weekend. Where do you go from? from now on is it is it a case of waiting and seeing what happens with canelo and triple g have you got some plans lined up for you, uh, lined up yourself or? well that's part of it but but he's not going to sit around waiting for that fight to happen in the meantime bill will fight and he's going to fight in the spring and uh, we'll work on that and decide who he's going to fight once we know what's happening with canelo and Golovkin. um the the sort of um, aftermath of the fight has um, rubbed off a lot, a lot of good praise on Billy Joe's worldwide, more than the UK. Well, it was, um, it should, and so it should be. He, he boxed extremely well. Um, it was probably the best performance I've seen from a British fighter in many years. Um, up there with Tyson Fury's, well, was, you know, on par with Tyson Fury against uh, Klitschko. And probably looking back past that was Kawasaki against Lacey. And that was like, you know, 15 years ago, whatever it was, or 10 years ago. But it, that's how good it was. It was a dominant performance, best performance of a British boxer away from home that I've seen. Hostile environment, other guys' backyard, a well ranked guy, you know, a well respected guy. He done a job with him. And has HBO um, contacted you since about the performance? We've been talking and... to him. They, they were open to with it, all their commentators. They were raving about it, the American boxing press was. So now it's our job to um, capitalise on that and get Bill into a position where. We forced the issue with the winner of Golovkin and Canelo. And after, after, well, straight away, immediately, I think Danny Jacobs took to social media. Um, he's expressed his interest and um, wanted to fight Billy Joe I'm Saunders. Sure, I'm sure he has. You know, I'm sure he would do. But you know, if I look at that. You know, his last fight was in New York, and they didn't sell 2,000 tickets for it. So, you know, you know he's, he's on the he's on a list, but he's at the bottom of the list at the moment, and we'll have to see. But at the moment, we're in no rush to do anything. Bill's the champion, and Bill make the decision. Could there be some sort of complications with you and Eddie Hearn? With no Eddie complications. No me, complications. Bill's a yeah. champion and, and it'd be on our terms. And so he'd have to come to BT then? And yeah, there is no way anything else is happening. It's not going to be on Eddie Hearn's terms or anyone's terms. If, if indeed that fight happens, it's a big if. We'll negotiate a fair purse, but that'll be it. The rest of it will be with Bill. He is the champion. First year in BT already completed. Yet. Nine months. You were nine months, yeah. yeah. Second, well, uh, 2018 we're going yeah, into. With yeah. all your vast experience of being in the game for decades, how, do you, how does this challenge, how does it present, you know, how do you present this challenge with trying to put BT, well, BT view base is right up there with Sky, but having boxing. More, they got more, they got more, um, BT have got more sports subscribers than Sky. How do we do it? Well, you've seen all the shows that we put on. You know, we're not putting pay per view shows on yet. But you've seen the show, you? I'll ask, the, I'll ask your viewers, what are the best shows? The ones that have been on Sky or the ones that have been on BT? I think it's a no-brainer. And what have you got in plan, sir, for 2018 on BT? Well, we'll be fighting. As you know, we announced at the press conference today, we've got Carl Frampton fighting uh, Nanny, the, the now. Nito Denaire, right. Yeah, right Nito yeah. Denaire on the 7th in Belfast. Is that in Belfast, yeah? Yeah, we've got... Um, Terry Flanning and fighting Maurice Hooker for the vacant uh, WBO like World Away title. We've got um, Warrington, Josh Warrington yeah. and uh, Lee Selby. Uh, Josh is challenging Lee for his title. That being Leeds, uh, dates to be and that's a done deal. Um, we've got Zolanda Tetti, who's uh, I think one of, one of the, oh, should be on the pound, the pound list now. Great little fighter. Uh, he's defending his title in, in uh, the cup box on the 10th of February. Um, and we've got Liam Smith, and we're negotiating up the Golden Boy for the uh, Saddam Ali fight. So, plenty going on. All our youngsters, our young our roster of great young talent, future stars, all those coming through as well. Speaking of pound for pound, how do you rate Billy Joe Saunders in? Just UK pound for pound. Is there a better boxer in the UK pound so. for pound than Billy no, Joe Saunders? Not on that performance, do you think so? I, I've been saying it for years, yeah, to be honest with you. Right, well, it's it now. I mean, you know, there's been times where you think, oh, he could have done better, but. Absolutely, I think you know, I think he's top of the list. And Billy mentioned of going after the guy that beat um, the Gale Truax. 
is, is that an it's, avenue you've I can see it is, an, it is an avenue to be quite to explore. However, my only concern with that, I don't want him going up the weight and then have to come back down again to fight one of those. You know, if he gets involved, I want him to focus on the king. Right? I'm sure that's what, um, what Dominic could want as well. Right, OK. And then, final question coming up. In terms of pay-per-view, um, you can't ignore that in boxing now. Uh, you know, all the big fights are on pay-per-view. Well, not all the big not fights. All, that's, true, that's true. Some fights shouldn't be pay-per-view. That's correct. That's Am awesome. I right on that? Some of those fights, you wonder why they're, why they're asking people to put their hands in it. But, but what's, the, what's the transition going to be like of making Billy Joe a pay-per-view star? Is it going to well, take a, a Canelo? Fight. If he fights Canelo, it'll be pay-per-view. In the story. And if, if it's no one else, it'll be standard BT, right? Then Unless it's Canelo or Golovkin. Yeah, Billy, Billy Joe Saunders, when he, those big fights will be on pay-per-view. That's, right. that's the only way we can make it. How yeah. are we going to generate the income? That will happen. That's a fact of life. That's, I mean, I, I started playing with you. Yeah. You know, I, I brought it into being in, in the UK. So that's the only way you can make it, unfortunately. That's how it is. But in the meantime, we've got to deliver like we continue to deliver the good quality fights on BT that gets fighters in the position to fight, be, become big pay per view stars. And do you feel that in the UK market, you, your stable um, in terms of talent and prospects is, um, is, is the best around? What do you think? Well, yeah. But, I mean, Daniel Dubai, you got, he's fighting, I believe. It's a no February. brainer, isn't it? Yeah. Of course I do. And listen, we've done that on limited resources. We didn't have sky money. We did that in the luck. We've done that, built that well. That didn't all just happen. That's been that happening for a little while now. We've been working hard on building it. Working with BT now. As I said, I said when we signed the deal, it's going to level the, level the playing field. Playing field. So we've leveled the playing field. And now we're, uh, we're going to see who, who's the best. Take Anthony Joshua away from the other people. And there you go. Thanks very much. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing boys.